Shalom, shalom, real motivation. Terrence McGinney back with a brand new video. Off top, I want to give all praises to the Most High. Today's video is the pressure that comes with change. Uh, before I get into the video, I want to tell everybody, please like, subscribe, comment, share. But the pressure that comes with change. Anytime you try to change or you try to do something different, it's going to be pressure to come with that. You got to make sure you can take that pressure. It's going to be the pressure that you put on yourself to see that change through. And it's going to be pressure from the outside world to, to make you or to pressure you into remaining the same. Your friends, your family, people that you come into contact with on a regular basis, sometimes it's, it's much harder for them to accept that fact that you is changing or that you serious about your change. So a lot of times they put peer pressure on you to remain the same. Uh, like for instance, let's say if I've been drinking all my life, I think it's a problem man, and now I, I don't want to drink no more. I want to change. I want to change that drinking habit. So, in order for me to change, I'm going to have to change my habits to go with that drinking. Let's say if I went to the bar every Tuesday night and I played poker at my friend's house every Wednesday. And those two nights of the week is when I get hammered the most. So on that Tuesday night when I go to the bar, on that Wednesday when I'm going to my friend's house to play poker. In order for me to change that, I'm going to have to say no uh, I'm going to have to really remove myself from the situation. So I'm not going to be able to go to the bar on Tuesday night. Or I'm not going to be able to play poker on Wednesday night. And that's when you're going to start, you know, realize that's when your friends, your family, or whoever you're doing this with going to start to put that pressure on you. They're going to tell you, like, come on, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We go out every Tuesday night. You know, we've been going out for the last five years on, on Tuesday nights so, or we done had this poker game going on Wednesday nights for the last 10 years. You always there. You always there. Like, come on, man. Like, it, it's tradition. And sometimes we might give in. And then once we give in, it's going to be more pressure put on us. Because once we get over there, it's going to be like, come on, you want to have one drink? Like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with one drink. Or one drink ain't going to kill you. Or this this, you know, this one drink ain't going to get you drunk. But you know, it's, it won't you just try to cut back and just be going full turkey and stopping. And then sometimes we fall into that pressure. And then we take that one drink. And then before you know it, that one drink turns into us getting hammered. And next thing you know, we hammer. And our change is not taking place because we continue to put ourselves in those situations where we can't handle the pressure yet. And... And you can't really bring, blame your friends or your family or whoever you going around and doing that because we all we all hit different milestones in our life and we all moving different. And sometimes, you know, some of us, you know, want to make changes in our lives that others are not ready for. Sometimes those changes don't come later on into their life. And sometimes those changes don't come at all. But at the end of the day, we got to know how to deal with the pressure. And the best way to deal with the pressure sometimes is to remove ourselves out of those situations. You know, we can't be playing a hand and going into the lion's den and thinking we're going to make it out alive. Like, and so we got to move different. And we got to start doing stuff different. And when we move different, that also brings pressure on us because when we start to move different and we start to do stuff different and we, we don't go to that bar on Tuesday night, we don't go to that card game on Wednesday night, that brings a different type of pressure because now your friends may, or your family, they might think you different now or they might think you got something against them or they might think you think you better than them because you you currently not doing those things and so now you're dealing with a pressure to where you might still love those people the same way you love those people before 
but you just can't put yourself in those situations because you ain't ready to deal with the temptations. And sometimes it, it takes years for us to be able to go around people that we used to and when we got relationships built on certain foundations and, 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 and still be able to, you know, have fun like we used to because we dealing with something on our own. But that puts the pressure on you because now, you know, your loyalty getting questioned, your friendship getting questioned, uh, people wondering, uh, you know, did you go off the deep end? Why are you doing this and why are you doing that? And so that pressure started to build on yourself. And, and, and then sometimes we, we, we succumb to the pressure and, you know, and it's easier sometimes for us to maintain the same habits than to break those habits because sometimes some of us like doing what we're doing some of us i mean what if i i like getting drunk you know but or i i like having a few jerks but i just can't handle myself past that limit then i'm, I'm applying more pressure more pressure more pressure on myself but we gotta we gotta be able to deal with the pressure you know, and we got to be able to look ahead on and know that whatever we do, it ain't going to never be easy. And to break a habit, we're going to have to put, it's going to be pressure on ourselves because if we really want to break that habit, we're going to really have to see it through. We're going to really have to do a lot of things differently. I mean, you can't go about doing the same thing and if you want different results. That's the definition of insanity. So... This was just a short video today. I just wanted to let y'all know that, I mean, whatever you change, you trying to make in your life, whatever it comes to. And I just use drinking, for example. I never had a problem with drinking, so I want to be respectful to the people out there that have them for drinking, but it was just an easy scenario. But whatever you're trying to change in your life, if you're trying to, you know, lose weight, if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're trying to eat a more healthier diet, or if you got, uh, if you're on a spiritual walk, whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to, you know, better yourself mentally, it's going to be some type of pressure that, that come with that. It's going to be the pressure you put on yourself and the pressure from the outside world because it's harder from somebody else on the outside looking in to accept your change. So just know that it's always pressure to come with change. Have a great day, Real Motivation.